Good morning, everybody. I figure I to film a day in the life. I have a 100% free day today, which never happens. Like I was supposed to have a client this morning and she had to cancel. Um, and then I was supposed to have a application call for my program, The Next Chapter Evolution at three, but she has to reschedule to next week. So I actually have the entire day to just do what I want, get stuff done, kind of take my time with things. And it's the perfect day because I worked until midnight last night at my part-time job. So got my sleep face on. I slept until seven this morning, just kind of snoozing my alarm for an hour. Um, so I am going to start with my morning ritual, my non-negotiable morning ritual. Very important to me. And I've been doing a 21 day medita meditation series from Deepak Chopra um, through one of my coaches, Alicia. I am starting one of her programs in, oh my God, I think Monday. Oh, that's exciting. Um, and so we're kind of doing it as like a preemptive before the program starts. So I'm on day seven today, I believe, and they're about 15 minutes. So I'm trying to start with that and then I just kind of feel it out and see what I want to do for the rest of my uh, morning ritual, depending on the day and how much time I have. Lately, I've had a client starting at like 6.30, 7, 7.30. So um, I typically have been just doing like a little bit of journaling or a little bit of reading, but I have a free day today. So let's see what the morning routine ends up being. And then I'll take you through my work day. And yeah, I don't really, I know what I need to get done and what I want to work on, but there's a lot of flexibility in there since I have the whole day free. So let's see what we get into and I'm gonna get to my meditation. All right, meditation is done. I was very distracted, but that's okay. We're not perfect and I did it. Um, now I'm going to read The Secret. If you haven't read this, highly, highly recommend. I think everyone can benefit from this book. It is incredible and it's so easy to read. It's in like little chunks, little quotes. I might've mentioned it in another vlog, um, but I'm going to read a little bit of that. It is in perfect alignment with the meditation series that I'm doing, um, just all about attracting abundance and manifesting and like changing your thought process. Um, so I take notes um, instead of highlighting because the book is like, it's kind of beautiful and I don't want to highlight on it. Um, so I'm going to take some notes and do a little bit of reading and then I'll see what I get into next. All right, I think the last thing I'm gonna do before I end my morning ritual is to work on, do the work workbook. It's an anti-racist activity book. It's fun, I, you know, like it's not a fun topic, but um, the writers make it fun in a way, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm just gonna do a couple pages in this and then I've got to get to some work. <laughs> Okay, just got my workout done. So far I have not done much work this morning, but that is okay. I am trying to learn to rest more. I work a lot. Obviously like I run my own business, I have a part-time job. So resting for me is hard. Um, yeah, I, if you ask my husband, like he obviously lives with me, he is like slow down. You know, sometimes at like eight o'clock at night, I'm still on my laptop and I'm like, oh, I can do this, I can do that. Like, so I am trying to learn to rest more and just be gentle with myself so that I don't feel pressured to do everything, especially like on a day off. Like I basically work seven days a week because of my part-time job. I have clients six days a week. I run my business so I can just open up my laptop and 
do work at any hour, any day of the week. So it's hard for me to like shut off sometimes. So I am trying to work on that a lot. Um, so yeah, I have a free Friday. Like it's okay if I want to take the day and just like have total freedom. So I just got my workout done, which was super important to me. And my sister-in-law and I are going to go have lunch now. Like I'm going to go home and shower, get ready. And we're going to go have lunch. And that gives me the rest of the day to get a lot of work done because there is stuff I really want to get to and need to get to. Um, but that way I'm not, you know, I don't have any commitments tonight. So once we're done with lunch, I can go back to the house and get some work done. So I'm going to head home, shower and get ready. All right. I am ready for lunch. It feels good to just get like refreshed and dressed. I wear leggings, as you know, like 95% of the time, except for my part-time job when I wear jeans. But yeah, it just feels nice to dress up. It is so gorgeous out today. It is obviously like we're still in the high desert, so it's maybe in like the 50s, but it is like, I feel like I could go outside in this. I'm not going to, um, and I would be fine, but I know like <laughs> the chill would eventually get to me, but it's just so nice. It's so sunny. Like, honestly, I have a very good attitude for the weather and maybe it's because I'm new. This is only my second winter living in somewhere where it snows, but I love the snow. I think it's magical. I don't mind the cold, but now that like the warmer weather is here, I'm kind of getting excited. So I am very excited for spring and summer and just to not always be wearing a humongous coat. Um, but yeah, it is so nice that we're going to go to lunch. Maybe we'll sit outside and I don't know. I'm just feeling super grateful today. I, uh, just like, I was just popping on Instagram stories and like, I love my life. I truly am so grateful for my life. Are there things that I'm working towards? Yes. Are there things I would love to change? Yes. That I'm working on. Um, but I truly am so grateful for the life that I have and that I've created for myself. But there's just some days where you're just feeling even more gratitude. And like today is one of those days and maybe it's the weather. I don't know, but I'm just feeling super grateful today. So yeah, I'm just really trying to honor that. And gratitude brings abundance. Like if you're always complaining or looking at the downside of things, that is what you are going to continue attracting into your life. Plain and simple. You have to have a good outlook. You have to be positive. Do you have to be positive 100% of the time? No, we all have times where we're just not seeing the good in things. But if you're constantly having a negative outlook on life, that is the only thing you're going to attract into your life is more negativity, more bad things, more things you can complain about. So find something that you're grateful for today. And I promise your day will turn around if it didn't get off to a good start. But hopefully it's off to a great start. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. And yeah, I'm just feeling extra grateful today. All right, I am home. It is three o'clock, definitely later than I thought it was gonna be. But that's the beauty of running your own business. You can literally create your own schedule. So I am going to pull out my laptop and get some work done. Lots of creative work going on. Um, some client resources I need to do. And yeah, I am just have a lot in the works. So I am going to hunger down, see what I can get done in the next couple of hours. And yeah, it's been a great day so far, but I am ready to work. I am excited. I love my creative work. I love growing my business. I love all of that good stuff. So let's get into it and I'll try to record a couple of things that I'm doing as long as I can share what I'm doing. There's a few things I cannot share yet, but let's see. Okay, the first thing I am going to work on is going to do some work on the one-on-one -on -one evolution that I am expanding from my 12-week program that I created in 2021. Um, and it's been amazing, but I have just been feeling called to expand it into a six-month one-on-one program. And yes, a lot of the same mindsets and trainings are going to be in there, but it is going to be completely revamped. So I do have a lot of work to do um, because honestly, like I'm putting myself through the original 12 weeks again. And obviously like, these are things that I 
have done in my life. That's how I created this program. These are literally 12 mindsets that changed my life. But I am doing the whole program from start to finish as like a little refresher. See what still aligns with me, what's resonating, what I want to keep in the new version of it, and what can kind of be tossed aside. Maybe it no longer resonates or can kind of be condensed if there's like a few trainings that I want to condense into one kind of overlapping like mindset or phase. So I am really going through and trying to see what's resonating with me and what I want to bring into this new chapter of the next chapter evolution. Um, but the cool thing is that my coach, my business coach, um, I am going through the whole thing with her and she just did like a program audit or like an offer audit on the new revamped evolution. So I basically wrote out everything that I have so far. Some of it is still like in the working phase and I, there's a lot to be done. But she went through and recorded like an audit. Um, and we have like a shared Google Doc where she wrote some comments on it all. So I'm going to go ahead and watch her video and take some notes, do some edits and see kind of what's coming up, what work I can do on that. And then, yeah, that's going to be like the first thing I do. So there is so much to do with the evolution, but I am just trying to do a little bit at a time, a little bit each day, and it will all get done. That's how things get done in life. You take one little baby step forward. So it will be done hopefully in like the next month. I'm super excited. But yeah, I'm going to go through this audit video, make some edits, make some changes, and I will check back in. Um, and alongside that, you really have to have a good basis for what is happening in the world, not in the sense that. Okay, so I just finished the kind of intro video of my coach Alicia's Femme Initiation program, the Empowered Femme Initiation that starts March 28th. I'm so excited. Um, but I'm so glad I watched that training video because, or like the intro video, because this program is going to be incredible. It's going to be life-changing, world-changing, but obviously like I take coaching very seriously. Like I pay a lot to have a business coach. I've paid thousands. I take it very seriously. Even if the investment was small, like I'm trying to create the life that I want. I'm trying to create my desires to become reality. I am trying to make a difference in the world. So I take that very seriously, whether I'm investing $5 or $5,000. Um, so with that being said, after watching the initiation video for that program that starts soon, it is very apparent to me that I need space for my own for many reasons, especially as I, as I expand my business and I have creative outlets, I do more videos, I podcast, um, I have one-on-one -on -one clients where I need privacy. Um, so we decided to make the spare room in our home. We have three bedrooms, our main room, which is one we sleep in, um, my husband's office, and then we have an extra room where we had a bed for guests. But honestly, like my husband told me the other day, he's like, why don't you make that your office? Because people sleep in it, like probably going to sleep in it like three times a year. It's not worth having that space when I'm literally not using it 365 days out of the year. And it's been great having this little setup here. Um, my desk, this is our loft area. Let me flip the camera. This is our loft area. I absolutely love my desk. This is where I do my morning routine every single day. But there's a lot of work in progress, like the bench here. I need to find like a cushion. So nothing's like done yet. We This is all just old furniture, which is totally fine. Um, but it's just kind of like our cozy place for the morning. But it doesn't feel like my space. And obviously, like this is very open. 
and you know, we work from home. So like my husband comes in and out and you know, it's no fault to anybody, but like I need privacy. I need focus. I need just attention on my work and this just isn't cutting it anymore. So we are going to convert this room, which right now I like hate this room. I know I shouldn't say that, but like it brings me zero joy. Like I even changed out the comforter from the other one we had. And I was like, oh, let me just get more color in this room. No, it's just like everything is blech. like the color on the walls it is much darker in person. It's just like an ugly tan color. This room just brings me zero joy. Like, so we are going to do something about that because we just bought a home and we pay a lot for a mortgage and I want to enjoy every room in my home that I'm paying for and it's my sacred space. So yeah, with that being said, this is going to be my office and my little sacred space all for me. I truly believe everyone should have some space to themselves where they can have alone time, self-care time, just privacy, whatever. So this is going to be mine. That way I can close the door, have privacy with clients on Zoom, um, have privacy and just focus recording podcasts and YouTube videos, and then just have like undistracted time to focus on growing my business, whether I'm doing logistical stuff or creative work where I really just need focus. This is going to make the world of difference. But with all that being said, let me circle back to the empowered feminitiation. Uh, it is very important that I have private space and just like a sacred space for that program. Like I said, I take programs very seriously and coaching very seriously, but this one is on like another level where I want to, like I give it my all for my programs. Like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. This one is so important for many reasons. And maybe I'll share some of the journey once the program starts, but I really want to give like everything that I can to this program for so many reasons in my life and just beyond. So I really need a space of my own to just focus and like I said, have that privacy and I'm really excited. So I will maybe give you some updates as we make some changes to this room. We're gonna start by painting and I'm gonna start today by paint, uh, taking this uh, thing down, but yeah, I'll take you along for the ride. All right, everybody. So it is now Saturday the next day. And yeah, I had a great day yesterday. Did not work as much as... Oh, look at this cute little thing. Um, <laughs> did not work as much as I wanted to, but that is okay. Like I said, it is very rare that I have a day with nothing on my schedule and just total freedom. So I had an amazing day yesterday and I just allowed myself some more rest, took the pressure off of having to get a ton of work done, even though like I have made multiple to-do to lists of what I need to do in my business right now over the next couple of months, but it will all get done. It is okay to take a rest day once in a while. And I had an amazing day and I am actually off from my part-time job for the next two days. So that's, or actually three days, the whole weekend and on Monday, which I love starting Mondays at home, just getting worked on my business, just focusing on clients. And it's really nice when I at least have those days off from my job. Um, so yeah, I have the next three days to get stuff done. I did do a little bit more work last night, um, but just very minimal. And yeah, I'm going to get some work done today and tomorrow. And I've already been like up cleaning and organizes, organizing this morning. So yeah, I am going to enjoy the weekend. I think it will continue to be productive, but also allow some rest and relaxation. So I hope you are all having an amazing day, week, weekend, whatever day you are watching this. And I'll see you in the next video.